Welcome to this week's Tuesday Truth for Kids. I'm so glad that you could join us. Well, here's a dress. And now, here's a dress. Can you spot the difference? Well, today we are going to hear a true story about two people who needed help. They both had problems that they couldn't do anything about on their own, but they trusted Jesus and he was kind and powerful enough to make a real difference in their lives. He gave them new life. So do you have your Bibles ready? You can open up in the book of Matthew chapter 9 and we'll be reading verses 18 to 26 today. So while Jesus was saying this, a synagogue leader came and knelt before him and said, My daughter has just died, but come and put your hand on her and she will live. Jesus got up and went with him and so did his disciples. Just then, a woman who had been subject to bleeding for 12 years came up behind him and touched the edge of his cloak. She said to herself, if I can only touch his cloak, I will be healed. Jesus turned and saw her. Take heart, daughter, he said. Your faith has healed you. And the woman was healed at that moment. When Jesus entered the synagogue leader's house and saw the noisy crowd and the people playing pipes, he said, Go away, this girl is not dead, but asleep. But they laughed at him. After the crowd had been put outside, he went in and took the girl by the hand, and she got up. News of this spread through all that region. So in this true story that we read today, there are two main characters. It's the young girl who was already dead and the older woman who was so, so ill. Let's look at each of them separately. So let's start with the synagogue leader's daughter. What was her problem? Well, she was so sick that she eventually died from her illness and no one could do anything to help her. Everyone else around her thought that she was dead too. And when Jesus said she wasn't, they laughed at him. Now, how did this problem get fixed? Well, her father, the synagogue leader, went to Jesus. He knew that Jesus could help. And Jesus went to her and touched her. Jesus brought her back to life. Jesus was kind and powerful enough to make this huge difference in this girl's life and he gave her a new chance at living. Now let's look at the older woman. She came to Jesus while he was on his way to help the synagogue leader's girl. Now Jesus wasn't too busy to help her. This woman had been sick for 12 years and she was bleeding. So not only was she sick, but she was also cut off from God and from God's people. See, in that time, because of her bleeding, she was not allowed in the temple because it made her unclean. And anyone who would touch her would be made unclean as well. And she was so sick that if she didn't get better, she would die too. But she came to Jesus saying if she can only touch his cloak, that's like a big jacket thing without sleeves. She said, if not even Jesus, if I can just touch his cloak, then I know I will get better. And what did Jesus do? Well, he called her daughter. This shows how much Jesus loves her. And instead of the woman making Jesus unclean, when he touched her, he made her clean and healed her. He gave her a new life and said that her faith has healed her. News of both of these things it was just so amazing what happened that the news spread through that whole area. But what about us? How are we like this woman or like the girl? Well, we also have a problem that we can't do anything about ourselves. But if we would also come to Jesus with this problem and trust in him, he is powerful and kind enough to make a real difference in our lives and to give us new life too. You see, our problem is sin. It makes us dead. 
It cuts us off from God and the punishment for our sin is eternal death. We cannot do a single thing to fix this problem. No matter how hard we try to be good people or to do well in school or sports or any other activity, no matter how much we try to obey God, we will never be able to obey him perfectly. We can't change our own hearts. But as we saw in these verses, there is someone who can. And that someone is Jesus. If we just c come to him like the woman did and trust him, he is kind enough and powerful enough to heal us from our sin. He died to take the punishment for our sin. And when we trust in him, God makes us clean. He washes away our sin and forgives us and we get new life. This life is possible because we get the Holy Spirit who is God and he changes our hearts. He shows us how to obey God and gives us the power to do that. And this new life is now, but it carries on forever and ever. Even after our bodies die, if we trust in Jesus, we will live with God forever. This is so amazing and news that we can also share with everyone around us. So now that we've come to the end of eight reasons why we need Jesus, I want to ask you guys a few questions to think about. Do you know that you need Jesus? He is the only one who can fix our problem of sin. Do you believe that Jesus is good that he is kind and that he is powerful? Do you believe that he is so powerful he can rescue you from sin and from death? And will you trust him? Let's close our eyes and pray together now. Lord Jesus, thank you so much for everything you have done for us. Thank you that you died on the cross for us so that we can have a new life with you. Help us to trust you, Jesus. Help us not to try and fix our problem of sin on our own by trying really hard to keep God's rules or to do really well or to be good people. But help us to know that we need you and that we can just trust you. Jesus, thank you that we can be forgiven for our sin and have a relationship with God forever. Amen. Amen. All right, guys. <laughs> That is the end of our Tuesday Truths for now. We're going to take a break for a few weeks and then we'll be back again closer to Christmas. I look forward to seeing you all then and we'll see you on Sundays in our services as usual. <laughs> Amen. Amen.